Hello, this is Jim from Umoto Motorized Bicycles. I'm here to introduce to you the first generation four stroke motorized bicycle from Umoto Bikes. Uh, before we begin um, discussing this particular build, let's learn about some of the things between uh, two stroke and four stroke motorized bicycles. And uh, we'll discuss the similarities and differences between the two types. Okay. Over here is a two stroke motorized bicycle. Okay. Set up with a two-thirds gallon gas tank that takes a mixture of two-cycle oil, like the kind that you put in your weed whacker. And the mixture is used to help fuel the, uh, the motor while lubricating it. The mixture flows from the tank into the carburetor, and when in motion, the turn of the throttle okay, it releases the air and gas mixture into the motor for combustion. The neat thing about these bicycles is that they can be ridden with or without motorization. The two-stroke setup has a clutch and engages and disengages the motor. So this is disengaged and this is engaged. When disengaged, the clutch is pulled in and the bicycle can freewheel. You can pedal normally. When you want to motorize, engage, or pop the clutch while in motion. Now, there's something called a CDI down below here. And this CDI will help the spark plug spark to go ahead and spark and cause combustion in the motor and a simple twist of the throttle will go ahead and allow the motorized bicycle to go and accelerate. Now when slowing down, simply pull in the clutch to disengage the motor and brake. You can allow the bicycle to idle or stop the motor entirely by pressing the kill switch, which is found right over here. It's orange button. Now if you want to go and adjust the idle of this two-stroke motorized bicycle, simply screw in or screw out this set screw. It's found right on the carburetor. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the four-stroke motorized bicycle. So there are some outstanding differences that set the four-stroke apart from the two-stroke. First of all, this bike has no need for a manual clutch to engage or disengage the motor. It free wheels all the time so you can pedal anytime without having to hold the clutch lever down. Four stroke isn't started by pedaling, rather it's started by a pull start mechanism. And the pull start mechanism is found on the right hand side of the motor. It can be ridden immediately by just turning the throttle once the pull start mechanism starts the motor. The idle for this particular motor is set by this screw they found on top of the carburetor okay, and power is adjusted by uh, turning the fuel regulator, this gray device. Another advantage of the four-stroke motorization is that it does not need a gas oil mixture. Oil is added separately, uh, like in your car. All you have to do is just add the gas. Like all vehicles, the oil doesn't need to be uh, does need to be changed on a regular basis. Now this four-stroke motorized bicycle is more efficient than the two strokes. It goes for 150 miles per gallon and all-day cruising speed of around 30 miles per hour. Two-stroke motorization averages about 80 miles per gallon and travels between 25 to 30 miles per hour depending upon weight and time. So more efficient is the four-stroke motorized bicycle. Unlike the two-stroke, the four-stroke motor allows for longer trips, too. It doesn't need to have a cooling off period after riding. Two-stroke motor, motorized bicycles should be left to cool off after 30 minutes of riding. Four-stroke motorized continue. So now let's go and talk about this particular four-stroke build here. Okay, this motorized bicycle is built on a large 29-inch cruiser bicycle. It's a large bicycle built for those who like to go and ride tall. 
that has an oversized 2.5 liter or one gallon tank. It's made of lightweight aluminum with alloy rims and heavy duty spokes. It has a dual braking system including front pull and rear coaster brakes. It has a nice seat, dual spring, seat saddle, and sweeping handlebars for riding control. Now both bikes are street legal as long as they uh, let you follow all traffic laws. If you wear a helmet, you use lights at night, and you don't exceed speeds of 20 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and test the four-stroke motorized bicycle. parallel right to the fuel line. I'm going to go ahead and start it. So when I start the fuel regulator, we are going to my power. If you have any more information, if you'd like to have any more information about these motorized bicycles, come see us at facebook.com slash U-M-O-T-O bikes. Thanks.